A Pilsner was grabbed out of the fridge today. Still haven't really come around to the flavor of the Pilsner. Here's hoping that now I have. <laughs> what be going down, people of the world? Redbeard here, coming out from his couch. Welcome back to another daily drink vlog for the beer of the today. We have got a can of pickup truck Pilsner by the Thornbury Beverage Company. Yeah, I tried their Jubilee Amber Lager a while ago, and I really, really like that lager. So, maybe I'll like their Pilsner? This is more of, these guys are more of a cider company though, actually, so beer isn't really their, their main thing that they make, but, I don't know. They, they're good at the lager. Maybe they do a good, good Pilsner that I'll like. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's crack her open. For today's glass. Yeah, it tried. It attempted. It made an attempt at exploding on me. But I won. Ha ha ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Fuck you, beer. Sorry, that was uncalled for. Let's see what we've got. Well, you can basically already see what we've got. A whole lot of head from the explosion that happened. Which... I don't know if it's a sign, but pretty much every beer that I've had thus far that has exploded on me has tasted not so good. This isn't all going to fit in there because of this ridiculous amount of head from the, from the explosion, but maybe? Maybe? Oh, look at that! Look at that! Yay for me! Actually doesn't look too bad at all. Doesn't smell awful or anything. Well, I kind of get the generic Pilsner aroma from it. I don't know. Let's give her a shot. Not terrible. <coughs> Sorry, but. It's a Pilsner. I'm not a big fan of a Pilsner. I don't know why. Things could be better. Things could be worse. I don't know. Let's do this. Cheers, everybody. That drink was actually a lot tastier than the first one, maybe because I didn't get a giant mouthful of a head with it, but... That's okay. Definitely a little surprised at the, the decentness of this Pilsner. The, the palate. It's made another evolutionary leap, maybe? mind that at all. Inspired by the tradition and heritage of the great European beers from Pilsen in the Czech Republic, our award-winning Canadian Pilsner is painstakingly handcrafted in small batches with the world's best malts and hops. And that is pretty much all that's on here. No ingredients, we got 4.8% alcohol, no date, some kind of a pink dot, that means nothing to me. That's not cool. Like, look at look at the blank space there, and there. There, there's absolutely no reason that you can't have ingredients and a date on this can. Aside from that, it's the exact same can design as the Jubilee Logger with this cool panel and panel wood design, but a different color, which I like a lot. I just need a little bit more, a little bit more info needs to be put onto that can. Like, for all I know, this can of Pilsner has gone bad. And I'm liking it because it's gone bad, and if I had had it when it was fresh, maybe I'd hate it. We'll never know. Whatever age it's at now, works for my mouth. Brandon would like to point out that, uh... The channel has hit 175 subscribers, which is pretty damn cool. Like, 
much beard love to all of you out there watching. If you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. And, you know, tell your friends, because I've actually got something pretty ridiculous planned for uh, the 200 subscriber video. And that was, that was pretty bad right there, that little motion I just did for the zeros. Yep, yep, two little wanks in the, on the imaginary sausage. I'm just going to keep on doing it. I don't know. Well, yep, good times. I'm just, I'm so blown away by the tastiness of this Pilsner that my mind is broken now or something. That, that could be an excuse. Today being August 19th, on this date in 1909, the first automobile race was held at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. And then in 1934, the, the creation of the position Führer was approved by the German electorate with 89.9% .9 of the popular vote. Because around that time, Germany was just terrifying. And finally, in 1960, Korabel Sputnik 2 was launched the satellite, Sputnik's successor, basically, from the Soviet Union. Launched into the, uh, launched into space with the dogs Belka and Strelka, 40 mice, two rats, and a variety of plants. All of which made it safely back to Earth, which, happy end to the story. Cheers to happy endings. Ah, phrasing. And like, extra cheers to this beer. You done good, Thornbury. You done real good. You know what time it is. Drink number the last. And time to kill the pickup truck, I guess. Aside from that initial first drink where I got a big mouthful of the head from the explosion, maybe the best Pilsner I've ever had. So, Thornbury Beverage Company, your pickup truck Pilsner. Rating. Eight. And keep in mind, that's a ten minus the date and the ingredients. Yeah, that's a Pilsner. That would have got a 10. <clears throat> and that is going to do it for today's Daily Drink Vlog. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then be sure to smash that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then be sure to smash that subscribe button. And if you got something to say to me, then put some comments in the box down below. But thanks again, and I'll be back with another Daily Drink Vlog tomorrow. Peace out! So much blown away by the fact that I just had a Pilsner that I enjoyed. Maybe I need to retry a Russian Imperial Stout now.